The Building Smart Summit in this autumn takes place in uh, Lillestrøm in Norway. Unfortunately, we cannot be there in person, but there was a beautiful challenge that we wanted to bring a solution for, and that was to go through this entire Building Smart workflow of creating an IDS. On the very first day, we were focusing on, on the creation of an IDS, and that's something that I want to show you right now, uh, how Planoly solves that. Before jumping into the solution though, um, what is an IDS? Let's start with that, and we'll see some terms on the screen now, like BSDD, uh, so what are those expressions and how do we tie that into Planoly? An IDS is, is a standard that defines information requirements in a way that is going to be readable by humans and interpretable by computers. How do we do that in Planoly using BSDD, which is the Building Smart Data Dictionary? If I jump back to Planoly, I created a, a nice project. The, the summit takes place in beautiful Lillestrøm and uh, I set up those uh, Building Smart links, Building Smart Data Dictionary links that, uh, that are going to be relevant for our project now. And um, the, the challenge said that whatever we are doing, it should be following the CCI construction um, uh, classification domain. So that's what I chose from very many other domains that Building Smart Data Dictionary has publicly available. And the properties that I'm going to put there as information requirements on each and every element should follow the ETIM um, uh, property domain. Again, I chose that from very many different property do domains that are available publicly in the Building Smart Data Dictionary. After this setup, I can jump right away into our scope and in this scope, uh, you see the answer to, to the challenge, which was to create a beam, which was to create a flight of stairs and a wall construction. Everything put into the uh, classification structures together with some information requirements and then put it into an IDS. So what we see here now is the end result. The, the steps to, take the, uh, to get there is pretty straightforward. Actually, I've just created an element and because we are linked to the Building Smart Data Dictionary, or if I start typing in, uh, for example, the, the, the beams that I, as I see it on the screen above, it brings up all the, the entries in the Building Smart Data Dictionary together, not only with the right uh, naming of, the, of that element, but also with the right classification coding. If I bring up another example, maybe that's going to be a little bit more fascinating. So from stairs, these will be the entries that I can choose from when it comes to, uh, to a stair containing the stair expression. So that's the one that I, I, I chose, flight of stairs, and we also brought in the description of that element, together with the classification. We also defined what the IFC entity should be, so in case of beams, we are um, using IFC beam, IFC stair flight, of course, and IFC wall are the entities that we will be preferring. Now, the next step is uh, once we defined uh, these elements, put them into a certain purpose, a, a milestone, a stage, so we just created one which is called the BS Summit. Of course, we would be able to create multiple use cases because for each and every use case, we might have different information requirements, different geometrical aspects, different uh, companies, people being involved and responsible. We only created this one milestone for now. When it comes to the information part of things, uh, we created these information requirements. And again, let me just move myself a little bit up, up there. Again, we are being linked to the Building Smart Data Dictionary. And we just start typing in a certain uh, expression, let it be, for example, material, and Building Smart Data Dictionary will return all the entries in that given domain that would talk about material. So I can easily choose the one that is going to be relevant for my work. If we don't want to have a link to Building Smart Data Dictionary or just want to come up with our own uh, properties, that's doable. Because I was using uh, the link to the Data Dictionary, I chose certain uh, properties from the Data Dictionary together with the uh, P sets that they might be placed into and also created this uh, custom one, which is the summit challenge with a Boolean true false expression. I can define what kind of values I'm expecting under that information requirement. Uh, I was choosing uh, these predefined verification rules or value types. Um, Boolean uh, could be choosing a number, text, contains, uh, and so on. Now, assigning these information requirements in the grid, that's how we see, what we see as an end result. So these information requirements being added to these uh, individual components. This is the visual matrix, this is the visualization of an IDS pretty much. So it's absolutely human readable, really easy to understand what the, our expectations are, easy to communicate to people who are not necessarily using BIM, following BIM practices on a daily basis, and especially who have no uh, idea when, I, when an IDS might be. But if we want to create that uh, IDS output, we can also do that because going to our export settings, we can create IDS specifications with a click of a button, defining um, some fine tuning, some, uh, some expectations and settings about specifications, filtering down to teams, deciding if it's a, uh, which version of IFC we are talking about, 
adding a, a title, a description, and so on and so on. That is going to create an idea for us in the end. Very exciting, great work at Building Smart. Uh, looking forward to your feedback uh, on the comments below.